rainfall is going to be seen across our radar for the morning, for the afternoon, but it's going to slow down as we head into the evening. But nonetheless, a lot of rainfall on the way during the daytime hours of our Monday. We do have a slight risk for an excessive rainfall uh, here in southeastern Texas, including the Houston area. So we could see those rainfall rates anywhere between two to three inches per hour. That's enough to provide ponding on our roadways and some hazardous driving conditions at times. We can see these showers and storms start to train over the same location and uh, that's where we can see some minor street flooding and some road flooding and even our creeks or bayou start to rise up a little bit. Um, our smaller waterways maybe even out of their banks. So something to watch as we head into the end of the day today going into tomorrow alike. This is our Tuesday outlook for excessive rainfall. We're in that marginal risk and we continue to stay in that risk all the way through Wednesday with that chance Everyone is going to see the same amount of rainfall from now throughout the end of this week. So this is our future rainfall totals from now until Wednesday. It's wherever those cells develop and train over. That's where we're going to see those higher pockets of rainfall set up. So note that some locations like Houston could have about two and a half inches of rain. And look at where this model is picking up on in Brenham, close to five inches and uh, close to a foot there in College Station. So it really just depends where these things start to train over and we start to see those rainfall totals pick up. So anywhere between a one to three inches widespread, I'm going to say three to six inches uh, localized. Over the course of the next several days, we are seeing that chance of rain continue for us and it's going to keep our temperatures at bay, however. So not a hot week ahead, but a soggy week ahead for us here in southeastern Texas. Now, Hannah.